India has approved the world's first DNA coronavirus vaccine for emergency use for people aged 12 and above. It's developed by Zydus Cadilla and is India's second homegrown jab after Bharat Biotech's Covaxin. Zycov D, as it's known, is a three dose vaccine and can be administered through a needle free injector. It's the sixth vaccine to be cleared in India. The country says it aims to inoculate its eligible population by the end of this year, but so far, health authorities say only 9% are fully vaccinated. And now we're joined by Dr. Alice Tan, who's in Seattle. She's an internist at Ms. Medi Women's Hospital in Seoul. Dr. Tan, we're pleased to have you with us. Now, first of all, I'd like to ask you about this DNA vaccine. How does it work? Uh, well, it's a novel vaccine. It would be, if it did work, it would be the first human DNA vaccine. Basically, uh, uh, DNA, which is a code for making a part of the virus, is delivered into the nucleus of the cell. From the nucleus, the DNA is read then into RNA and then mRNA, and then the body makes a part of the virus particle. The body then recognizes this virus particle as something foreign. We make antibodies against it. And then when we actually get infected with the virus, the body is ready to fight off the virus because it has already made antibodies from the vaccine. If it did work, that's what you said there, so if it did work, how does it differ from the existing RNA and mRNA vaccines that we currently have, and are there any advantages over these? Well, an advantage is reportedly it is temperature stable, so it's temperature stable at 25 degrees, and of course the mRNA vaccines that are on the market uh, need to be ultra uh, cold storage, uh, and so that would be a huge advantage. This particular vaccine is delivered as a three-shot regimen. Right now in India, it's approved for everyone 12 years and older. Uh, and in terms of, um, you know, could it be a game changer in the fight against COVID-19? Certainly it could, but as I said, um, it's a, it would be the world's first human DNA vaccine. And unfortunately, I have not been able to access um, any published peer review data from phase three trials. And without review of these data, it's very, um, I think, tentative to say that it actually works. Um, we don't know really about the side effects unless we're able to review that data. All right, well, thank you so much. Uh, certainly be interesting to see how that works out. I uh, appreciate your time, Dr. Alice Tan uh, with the Ms. Medi Women's Hospital in Seoul.